Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an eyeshadow palette collection video. Now I've been thinking about doing this for a while, but I wanted to do it now simply because it's been a year already since I started my channel and I kind of feel like it's coming back full circle and I want to go ahead and do this every year and just show you my updated palette collection just to kind of see how much it has changed throughout the years. So I don't have like a full collection video from when I first started because I kind of was just showing each palette that I own one by one and swatching it. But um, again, like I said, I want to start just a collection video. So if you want to see like all my bronzers, all my blushes, all and those I do have collection videos for because they're a little bit smaller. If you want to see an updated one, then I'll go ahead and leave a poll and it'll be right around here on the little I, letter I, not like a uh, eyeball, the letter I. And um, there'll be quite a few other polls, um, maybe because I want to do some other things too and I want to know what you guys think about it so the first thing we're gonna do is start off with my makeup revolution palettes we're gonna do drugstore first and then high-end because that's just how I have my collection sorted and the first palette that I have here is the makeup revolution and this is their reloaded collection this is in the iconic neutral so this is what it looks like i think it's the neutrals too i believe i'm go ahead and check yes it is the neutrals too and i do love the palette and then we have another reloaded palette and this is the um iconic fever palette so let's go ahead and open it and it looks like that. The next Makeup Revolution palette that I have is the Emily Edit palette. Now, I love Emily Noel. Um, have you guys been watching her Emily Award series? I love, 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 love the Emily Awards. I look forward to it every year. And I was thinking about doing something similar, just my favorites for the year, but it's not going to be like brand new products and of this year, just my favorites that I enjoyed this year. If you'd be interested in seeing that again, I'll leave a poll, um, just letting me know. And it's just going to be all in one video. It's not going to be like a huge thing like the Emily Awards. Um, if you guys don't watch that, you should probably check that out. I love the Emily Awards. Now the next palette I have by them is another Emily palette. It is the Emily Edit The Needs. And it looks like this. And that's it for my Makeup Revolution palettes. I believe. Oh no, I have one more. And then I have this one, which is the Self X Collab palette. Which looks like this it's just a little hard to open again really pretty now let's go to my color pop palettes because i only have two of those and this is the color pop take me home palette now again this is a well-loved palette it looks a hot mess as you can see, I don't know what it is about ColourPop packaging. It's just my palettes. You can really tell that I use them um, when they're ColourPop. As you will see with my next ColourPop palette. Now this is the Kathleen Lights Dream Street palette. Again, you can see when I use the colors, there's definitely a mess on the palette. But I love this palette. Then we have an e.l.f. palette. This is the Matte for Matte eyeshadow palette in the in Summer Breeze. Now, I took this when I was out of town in Baltimore um, yesterday, actually. And this is the only palette I brought with me. If you guys want to see, I, want, I was thinking about doing a video at the hotel with my travel makeup, but I just... It, 
just wasn't working out. So um, again, I'll leave a poll about that too if you would like to see what I put in my travel bag as you see these lip liner swatches that I have on my hand. So this is the Essence Spice, it, Spice Up Your Life palette, which looks like this. Now this palette has been um, in danger of being decluttered constantly because there's just not enough mattes in here for my personal taste. So a lot of the times I'm just like, ugh, I'm dreading using this palette. But then I use it and I love, love, love the look I achieve with it. So it keeps getting saved from my declutters. Now the rest of my um, drugstore palettes are all Profusion. So let's go ahead and look at them. Now this was part of a kit. This is the um, New Nudes palette. It looks like that. Now, I don't believe these are available in store anymore. Um, the next one is the Orchids, which looks like this. It may still be available in their um, online on their website, though. As you can tell, I really love that shade right there. Very pretty. Then we have the Mattes palette here. Looks like this. Then we have the shimmers. And these uh, as well, I don't believe they're available in store anymore. Looks like that. Then we have the classics. Right there. And then finally, with these size palettes, we have the Royals, which look like that. Then we have the three bigger size palettes that came out for their summer collection, which is the Sienna's. They look like this. And gorgeous. And then we have the chocolates. Looks like that. And finally, we have the Pro Pigment palette. And this one looks like that. And then we have my most recent purchases, which were from their holiday collection. And we have the Wanderlust. Now these all look the same, so I'm just going to show you them open already. So this is the Wanderlust palette, which may be my favorite out of all of them. Um, out of the six for the holiday collection. Then we have the Temptress, looks like that. Then we have the Metallics, right there. Then we have the Velvet Mats. This one still has the brush in it. Looks like that. As you can tell I used Madly a lot and it like got all over the brush. And then we have Confidence, which looks like this. And then finally we have infatuation which looks like that so those are all my drugstore palettes or just affordable palettes and now we have my high end so this is the cargo you had me at aloha eyeshadow palette 
This is, again, high-end, but I actually picked this up at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And it was on sale for only, well, on clearance for only $3. And it was a great deal. And I have already hip pan on two shades. I really, really do enjoy this palette. It came with a brush and an eyeliner. And I just really like it. I believe it was limited edition though, so you probably won't be able to pick it up anymore. Then I have the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. Peachy. Peachy. Which looks like that. Again, I've already hit pan because this is in my panning project. The cream shade. And then I have the Tarte Clay Play Palette. Which looks like this. And it's like that. I know it looks kind of boring, but I really do enjoy the palette. And I already panned this cream shade here. The formula is just so good on this one. Then I have the Naked Ultimate Basics. Which looks like this. And again, I've already panned the cream shade on this one. Then I have just the original naked palette with fuzzies coming off of it and it looks like this i've already panned this shade right here and as you can see i have pan on two more shades in here then i have the naked three because i decluttered my and this one's all beat up and bent up it was in a catastrophic accident, so um, it looks like this. Still beat up on the inside as well, as you can tell from here. I've panned three shades on this one. This is actually my first high-end palette that I actually purchased. And I even have a pan on Blackheart. So yeah, I really do love this palette. Then I have the Too Faced sweet peach palette another one of my favorites it looks like that i have completely panned out this cream shade and hit pan on these two shades here and then i have the modern renaissance which looks disgusting and filthy and looks like this as you can tell again the cream shade is gone and I hit pan on three shades here my favorite formula ever in an eyeshadow palette then I have subculture right here again the packaging is disgusting and this is actually my favorite palette that I own which looks like this love it then I have the prism palette again by ABH which looks like this and I know a lot of people didn't like this palette or the color scheme and I didn't at first either but I really really love it um, the only shade I haven't really used is thrown but I really enjoy it I wish it wasn't limited edition. And then for the last of the ABH palettes that I own, this is Soft Glan. Again, a mess here. The packaging of it is just the worst because of the velvet, but I just really love, love it. So that's what Soft Glam looks like. And surprisingly, Soft Glam is my least favorite out of the four that I own. I know that's weird. Everybody loves Soft Glam, but it's my least favorite. And then we have the Tardis Pro to Go, which I love, which I have already hit pan on right here. As you can tell, this one is close to hitting being hit with pan as well. And then I have the... The Rock Pro Matte. I've hit pan on two shades on this one. I really do enjoy the formula. And I don't have any other Lorac palettes, so I am thinking about 
getting the bigger ones. Then I have this Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Quad. And this is in the shade Plum. As you can already tell, I hit Pan right there. Then I have another Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Quad. And this one is in the shade Rust. And I've already completely panned the cream shade on this one. And you can see that big pan here on that peachy shade then I have oh I forgot I had this one the tartlet flirt small palette which looks like this and spoiler alert this one is being um I don't know I'm kind of thinking about decluttering this one I'm gonna use it um probably today and I'll see then um if it's gonna stay or if it's gonna go and then I have the Stila Perfect Me Perfect Hue palette in tan and deep. And again, this is high end, but I also picked it up at TJ Maxx for $7. So it was a great deal because I had been wanting this for a while, which looks like that. And then I have the Tardis. Pro palette which looks like this very pretty and last but not least I have my newest addition well no it's not my new well it is my newest high-end addition to my collection which is the Too Faced Beauty Daydreamer palette which looks like that so those were all of my palettes that I currently own and yeah so I do have quite a bit like I said I didn't want to make this video too too long but it ended up being that way regardless so, I mean, there's not much I can, and I'm still talking anyways, um, but I kind of want to just put a few palettes on here just so it won't, the whiteness of the background won't be too, too harsh. I had a comment about that the other day, so I'm kind of just trying to not, you know, make it too harsh, like I said. And yeah, so... Um, those are all my palettes. I do have quite a few. I have a little over 40 palettes, I believe. Again, I will be adding to my collection. No, I don't need all of these palettes. No, I'm not trying to brag about all the palettes that I have. Makeup is just something that I enjoy and that I love and that just makes me feel good when I do my makeup, when I buy my makeup, just looking at my makeup, just everything about makeup I love. This is something that I love. Um, again, kind of going in the lines with that. Um, I do get quite a few comments sometimes like um, follow for follow or let's support each other. Um, that is not why I have YouTube. I made this YouTube channel because I don't really have a lot of friends in my personal life that enjoy makeup. Yeah, I have one friend that I do that she does love makeup and we enjoy talking about makeup. But you know that you can only talk about makeup with someone for so long. And that's why I made that channel because well, this channel because I want to be able to talk about my makeup I love talking about makeup I love looking at makeup I love everything about makeup and that's why I have this channel it's not to oh let's make it to this or let's do this and you know let's follow each other so we can get a whole bunch of subscribers no that's not what my channel is about it's about just having a place where I can come and talk freely about makeup with other people that enjoy watching makeup so I've also had a lot of um comments about doing tutorials 
this is mainly a um kind of like a review and swatch type channel um maybe in the future i will do tutorials as of right now my setup i cannot film tutorials like at all but maybe in the future um that's something that i will be able to do and that i will be interested in doing um but again it's not going to be a full face tutorial if anything it's just going to be a close up like an eyeshadow look i'm not um super excited to just kind of put myself out there and just there's a lot of things um that comes with making videos on youtube so again this is just a place for me to enjoy makeup to talk with others about makeup and build relationships in that way so if you're coming to my video hoping for more subscribers or you know like again like i said follow for follow and all that stuff then no um, I don't even respond to those comments and I just leave them as is because I'm here for makeup to talk about makeup and just <laughs> love makeup. So sorry for that little, you know, tangent I went on. But um, again, if you like this video, then hit that like button. And if you love makeup, then hit that like button as well. And if you aren't subs subscribed already, then hit that subscribe button. And if you that's if you are interested in my content and not trying to get more subscribers, then just hit that subscribe button so we can enjoy makeup and talk about it. And I'll see you in my next video, I guess. And also, if you have any requests, then please leave a comment down below. And don't forget to answer the questions up on the poll, which will be again right around here. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.